Okay, so a uh, little bit on the question on depression, anxiety, uh, self-attack, self-blame, and procrastination. What, one of the, the, the great, you know, what creates a lot of depression uh, is the idea that the source of happiness is outside of oneself. Okay, so when you when the ego projects uh, specialness or magical qualities onto something external, and uh, and it's not and it's not uh, attained, that can lead to huge amounts of depression. So let's say if uh, the magical quality was like youth, or the magical quality was a job or a partner, or the magical quality, whatever it was. When the ego finds it can no longer get that, then it goes into depression. And, uh, the, uh, and the depression is the thing of the ego thinks it's lost the source of happiness for good. And therefore it gets, it's really depressed. So it's like uh, you meet someone, you think they're going to be the love of your life, and then, uh, and the, and then you have a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, projection on that and then suddenly they say they're going out with someone else or they die then one can go into depression because it's like you know it's it's framed in the ego that when that thing is achieved it is it basically it's framed in the ego that is the source of happiness and if it thinks at some point that it can never ever get that source of happiness again it's like it's cut off forever from ever achieving happiness. So it's like, you know, it could be a job, or it's like, or the ego might project, like if someone's very, very attractive, and then they're starting to get old, they might start to, you know, and when they were younger, they would get lots of, uh, uh, lots of compliments, and they'd feel really, really happy, like my sense of self is how I look. And then now they're getting older and people stop doing that. They can be, start becoming depressed, you see. It's like, well, you know, I can never, you know, what's the point of living? You know, I'm no longer attractive, so uh, I'll, you know, it's like, so the ego inflates, and it's like one is then even further cut off from, you know, it becomes depressed, uh, may, may commit suicide. If it's really severe from the depression, it's like, well, there's no point to life, you see, on that. Or, so that, that creates the depression, uh, will create depression. So. One of the great things to know with depression is that is to do some investigation uh, within your own psyche to find out what, uh, what could it be that you feel you've lost or can't get, you know. You can, uh, you know, there can also be, um, when you're, uh, now when there's anxiety, uh, depression and uh, feeling like you're procrastinating, these, these all stem out of low vibration energy fields. Especially if you're, if you're depressed, it's quite a low vibration. You know, it's quite a low, you know, you're in a kind of a deep, uh, a deep negative state. So that means that the ego is uh, full of repressed feelings and, and is probably has projected that the source of happiness is difficult to attain or cannot be attained. You know, oh, there was this job, if I'd taken that job in the past, then, you know, my whole life would be transformed. You know, and then it's like, well, I can never, I can never go back and make that decision. So it's then it's like, well, what's the point of, what's the point of life, you know? Uh, you know, I've, uh, you know, I, I, you'll start to feel depressed. You see, because part of depression and negativity and fear and shame and guilt is just... Um, a lot of repressed feelings and a lot of thought activity. Very, very strong thought activity. You'll have a very strong act, thought activity if you think uh, that uh, you've lost the source of being happy ever again. You see, then that would, that would be like a very inflated ego and you would get no sense of peace from within because it's like the ego's just going like that. Then you feel, you know, if you're depressed, it's dark. What's the point of living or, or should I take some drugs or Shall I act out in some way just to escape from this feeling of hopelessness, uh, the loss of light? So the way, and also um, 
procrastination again you know if you're depressed people anxious people well depressed people definitely are uh, are in a state of like their whole energy is gone you know there's no point to living so it's like you know if you have to do the taxes if you have to like run the business you're going to have no energy you know you just you feel like you should do but you're cut off because you you know like the ego is in a shut down depressed state so well, you know, find out what it is in you. Why, you know, is it, if it's like something in the past, like I made such a bad mistake, I should have taken that job, and now it's, it's like, you know, the, there's no point, or there may be other things, I'm too old now, or it might be that uh, I've lost my chance, or I, I've made too many uh, bad choices in the past, so what's the point? So is to find those things, you can uh, cancel those thoughts, uh, you can sit with the feelings and try and feel the energy of it. And you need to keep cancelling whatever the thought is. Mm. You know, the thought, for the, find out what's the big thought, like, um, there's no point, I, I didn't take that job offer, I didn't make the application. If that's creating, you have to like cancel that and refute it, because the source of happiness is not that. When you let go of your ego, there's always happiness here now. Like for anyone who's meditated or, or, or has, has had a strong sense of soul, it doesn't actually come from the outside thing. It comes from being present, not being in, your, in the head, uh, having feel, felt out your oppressed feelings. So you have, um, you have purchased a thought, a belief, and, and, and that, that in itself can kill you you know, to depress your energy. Like, if you think you've, uh, uh, you've lost the, the job of a lifetime, or you've lost your mate, or you're too old, or, you know, it, when people hold those thoughts very strongly, then there's no point to live, because you believe the thought. It's like, oh, you know, well, that was my big break, you know, I, you know everything could have gone well, I'll never get a break like that. And the ego will go, well, there's no point to live, you see, you, you failed. So you just might as well be depressed and end your life, you see. So you've got to cancel that thought, uh, keep cancelling that thought, because it's based, it's a projection, a projection of specialness uh, onto something, which a uh, projection of glamour, and it's not real. Because once you're connected to the source, you know, the whole universe can, is abundant. It can provide you with all kinds of things. Anyway, the source of happiness is not an external anyway. It comes from within. So you can't, you, you, as soon as you... As soon as you um, deny that the source of happiness is inside of you and you project it externally, uh, and if you project it onto one thing very aggressively, then you're vulnerable to a lot of depression and a lot of negativity. So how do you get out of depression and anxiety? And uh, also another thing that's very, very helpful is to know that the you that made that choice in the past is not the same you as the you now. You see, so you shouldn't really blame yourself because everyone's doing spiritual, most people are doing spiritual work. So if you could have done something better, you would have. And it's, there's no point in, uh, in attacking yourself for what the past you did. Also know that things happen because of different vibrational levels. And so at a certain vibration, if you're feeling like uh, um, depressed, it, it, there's no use in sort of beating yourself up because that energy state to get to a higher vibration where there is more energy to do things you have, you have to work it through so it's just the head saying comparing to other people who can do things and saying you should be able to do that but you need to like feel out the repressed feelings um, also realize that it's the connection to you know, when you let go of the negativity and the idea that that thing was the source of your happiness, you go to a higher vibration and you start to get more abundant thoughts, more prosperous thoughts. You start to link into, um, if, you, if you do enough work, you link into the fields, the higher vibrations of the miraculous fields, where you're in the flow and all these wonderful things start happening and are attracted to you. So again, you know, you just have to keep cancelling these false ideas that you've lost the source because the source is never lost, it's on the inside but to the extent your ego projects it out you, you're, you're liable to depression or fear, you know, it's like if you, like, let's say there's a person uh, that, and you project everything onto them, this is the love of my life 
this per or if, if it's a job, you know, you get your identity from a job. If you lose it and you project too much onto it, you'll be depressed uh, and you'll be suicidal. And even if you project too much onto a job or onto a person, you're going to be in a constant state of anxiety. Because when you, pro you know, fear is like when you project some, the source of something to be in control of the environment or onto an external person or, or a job, then because it's the source of your happiness and security, you'll be in a constant state of fear, you see. Like if it's a job, what if they sack me? You know, or what if I become disabled and I can't work there any longer? Then what's the point of life? You get that with old people when they lose their jobs. You know, they, they, you know, they can get depressed or think there's no point to living. Mm. Um, or if it's a relationship uh, and um, say, oh, this person, I'm so lucky I've got this really attractive person. But you're going to be in fear, like, oh, she looked at or he looked at that person. Mm. What if uh, and I'm so happy because they're with me? And if they suddenly left, you'd be in a constant state of fear, like, oh, don't look at that person, or look at me. You know, so you're going to be prone to fear, and if they leave, prone to depression. So, hence, you know, cancelling those thoughts and, and recognising that there's always a source of happiness on the inside is, is the counter. But when something is strongly held, then you can really get very depressed and really fearful. So, I think that answers that, doesn't it? Yeah. Thank you.